Hello and welcome to CAM Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. My name is Zori and I'm a docent at CAM. For today's discussion, I have chosen a self-portrait by Martin Ferdinand Quadal. We all are familiar with the instant self-portraits called selfies, which have become very popular. In fact, millions of selfies are uploaded every week. The term selfie was coined in 2002. What is it about our self-image? Artists have used self-image in many different ways, such as putting themselves in a crowd, like Botticelli's uh, Adoration of the Magi, or where Velasquez put himself as a painter in the painting in Las Meninas. Then we have artists like Rembrandt, Vincent van Gogh, uh, Frida Kahlo, Dürer, Dali, Picasso, just to name a few, who created many self-portraits. Is the self-portrait just about your facial structure, or is it more than that? The word portrait comes from the Latin potrahare, uh, translated as to drag out, reveal, expose. In fact, it is what you like to be seen as. It expresses your inner being. Uh, it gives the viewer clues about your mood, maybe your interests, hobbies, and so on. Some artists practice uh, by painting themselves as they cannot afford a model. It also helps the artist to explore their own personality and figure out who they really are or want to be. Now let's see who Quadal is and what he is telling us about himself in his self-portrait. He was born in 1736 in Mor Moravia in today's Czech Republic. He traveled through many European countries and studied art in Vienna and Paris. He became a student of Francois Boucher. He went to St. Petersburg in 1797 upon the invitation of the Emperor Paul I and he became the master of the academy in St. Petersburg and died there in 1811 at the age of 72. Here we see him at the age of 52. We immediately know this is a painting of a painter as he is holding a painting brush in his hand. And since the painting brush is in his right hand, we can assume that he was right-handed and the other is holding a palette. And if we pay good attention to the background, there seems to be a large stretched canvas with its back to us. Our eyes are drawn to his face first because of the way he has illuminated it. He is looking at us but seems that his gaze goes beyond us. His brown orangey scarf leads us to the dog, which is a German short-haired pointer, a dog that can track game in a field, forest and water. While Quadal is looking out of the picture, the dog's attention is focused on Quadal. It even has its arm and paw over the artist's wrist as to say, stop painting and looking at yourself in the mirror, pay attention to me. In the 18th century, people of wealth and status used to have hunting dogs. What is Quadal telling us by having this dog in his painting? Painting an animal with a sitter is not easy as the animal does not pose for too long. Here Quadal is showing his skill and his love for dogs, which are a symbol of loyalty, protection, alertness and love. We even sense the love of the dog towards him and we see, him as a, see it as a happy dog. Looking at the palette, we see some tones of brown. And since this is a complete painting, it shows us that the last brush strokes were to give the fine touches to the dog. In a way, he's emphasizing his interest in the dog. Was this painting a way to advertise his skill? Was it for a patron or for a potential client? How would you like to see your self-portrait or selfie? What would you add to it? This painting is uh, located in Gallery 207 behind the Dutch Gallery. Come and see it and read the label as that contains some very interesting information. Thank you.